Deputy President William Ruto on Monday held a meeting with 139 members of parliament led to the Tangatanga faction of Jubilee Party ahead of parliament's resumption on Tuesday. Top on the agenda being the motions to be tabled on the floor of the House, among them the impeachment motion against Deputy President William Ruto. From my experience as a former leader of majority, who was there when Amos Kimunya was impeached, who was there when Moses Watangula was impeached, who was there when uh, uh, Minister Kaimei, Kaimei survived, I was there when the process of impeaching Anwar Iguru was there. It's not a birthday party. It's not a walk in the path. And you look at the person who is driving this. You go, go and dissect Ayub Savula. And then you understand that the carrier of the matter doesn't deserve a comment. The ANC party led by Musali Mdavadi over the weekend threatened to sponsor a motion to impeach Ruto when parliament sittings resume, saying Ruto was undermining President Huru Kenyatta and should resign or face impeachment. The DP's brigade daring them to bring it on. I want to dare them. Let them not discuss the impeachment of the deputy president in bars, in funerals, in the apartments of their girlfriends. Let them bring it to the floor of the house starting tomorrow, Tuesday, when the House resumes. The MPs led by Garissa Township Member of Parliament Adan Duale laughed off their attempts to impeach the Deputy President, saying it holds no water and that it will not be a walk in the park. We are telling all of them, the ODM, the ANC, the WIPA, the, 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 the Kelewekes, please go sit somewhere, bring the impeachment. We are ready for you. When it finds its way on the floor of the House, then the members of Parliament will deal with it as at that time. The DP's brigade also decried, among other issues, concerns over withdrawal of security details of their members, saying the Inspector General of Police bear the responsibility of ensuring safety of every member. The evil scheme which began with the targeted withdrawal of security of members of Parliament has now been extended to total withdrawal of official security coverage by police officers at meetings attended by the deputy president. Many members uh, of parliament have had their security withdrawn. That of course answers to the vulnerability of members if we are going for meetings without security. The National Assembly is scheduled to resume sittings for the fifth session tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. with a beehive of activities awaiting them. Fireworks are expected in the parliament when the impeachment motion against the DP will be tabled on the floor of the House for debate. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.